want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as uh, Pastor Derek Mann on early on the on the evening scripture study on this nineteenth day in um, November twenty seventeen. Let's dive in the word, y'all. Let's go to Second Corinthians four. Let's start at the um, third verse, four and three. We're going to do a little reading today, okay? <clears throat> but look what it says. It said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are, uh, Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, Right? People that are lost think we crazy. Like we've been brainwashed, like we out of our mind. People that are lost, right? They can't even see their lifestyle and how destructive it is and how destructive sin is in the condition of the world. It is a terrible place to be because of sin. And they look at us like we crazy because we come we came out of that. Yeah. If our gospel is here, it's here to them the loss. Right? Look at this. In whom the Elohim or the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. This world comes with the state of mind. Did y'all know that? There's a certain carnal state of mind that's associated with this world. No doubt. And it's the people that are lost that are walking around in that mindset. And you got to know that. See, even as believers, not really talking about it like that, but we as believers think that like um, people is people, but it's deeper than that. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, the carnal mind the word says it's enmity, which means hostile. But the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It is not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. So the average person walking around that don't have a gospel has a state of mind that's hostile against Yah and you if you're with him. You guys will never see eye to eye unless you just like them. If you not like them, you, there's a war going on in your relationship. I don't care what title you put on it. Put mama on there. Put daddy on there. Put cousin and nephew. Put best friend on there. There is an unspoken war, and the only way you're going to be able to be cool with them is if you're a sellout. Or the word breaks them down and they want to be saved. Until then, there's unspoken friction going on. Pass it. Pass it. Unspoken friction. Friction? Would that word work too? <laughs> yes, sir. But the God of this world has blinded the mind, and the mind is your thinking. Amos, the third chapter, say, How can two walk together except they be agreed? If you want to sign up for some personal warfare, if like say, if you're saved, if you're called out of the darkness into the marvelous light, all you got to do, if you want problems for yourself, just be unequally yoked. That's all. You're going to have all the trouble you ever thought you wanted. <laughs> Automatically. Even when y'all get along, it ain't good. Because somebody going to have sex with you. Somebody going to argue with you. Somebody want to get you involved in something that magnifies this world, this planet. When you, you, you've you been caught out of that, so there's no fellowship there. If there's a fellowship, they're coming to Yah or you going back towards the devil. Bottom line, there ain't no in-between. Either you winning them over or they winning you over. And we know the word teaches that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got to let the word reign supreme in your life. And come out from among them, be separate, like he said, right? 
But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. <clears throat> in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious uh, gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of Yah, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but uh, uh, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Adonai, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahushua's sake. We don't preach ourselves. D- d- look at this. That nice guy doctrine, get it up out of here. Get that up out of here. If you mess around and get saved for real, I'm not talking about having the form of Yahweh and this design the power. I'm talking about get saved for real. That nice guy stuff, he'll give you revelation. It don't work. It is good for nothing. The word teaches right that our righteousness is as a filthy rags. Like, say we 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 come to him and we become like nicer people. Is that what the gospel is about, really? So now you're courteous. Now you can balance a book on your head. Oh, bless you. You know how to, you, you're a gentleman, they call it, right? You're a gentleman, right? You get doors for since you've been going to church. Oh, for real, you, you pulled your pants. So you got a belt on? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carrying the groceries. You ain't going to even steal nothing. You're going to walk them across the street. For real. And you think you're saved now? Did you know being saved is the real death, burial, resurrection? <clears throat> Do you want to know what the real death, burial, resurrection is? It's exactly that. But you know what the average believer do? They blame the death, burial, and resurrection on the Messiah and not themselves. Did you know the true gospel includes your death, burial, and resurrection too? People love to say, uh, uh, Jesus did it all. Well, that ain't his name, starter, for starters, but I ain't going to even go there right now. The Messiah, what he did was actually live the perfect example for us, died for our past sins according to Romans, the third chapter, and then he baptized himself inside of us so we can be dead. We should have been dead. He then baptized himself inside of us, the leading God is in all truth. And what we got to be willing to do is stay dead. That's why he said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You will try to get back involved. He will tell you, mortify the deeds of the flesh. Kill yourself. Because what you're talking about is going to kill you. Either you're going to kill him or it's going to kill you. But the true death, burial, resurrection says, reckon yourself to be dead as well. For he that is dead is free from sin. You can't do you. That's why a Galatians, the fifth chapter, say the flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another, so you can't do what you want to do. You got to consider yourself dead. Don't be shocked if you have a crazy thought or a crazy desire. Just don't do it. Don't meditate it. Don't give it life. Don't feed it. That's why the man of y'all say, thy word, if I hear it in my heart, that I might not say it against thee. I've got an agenda, but I can't do my agenda. Y'all follow me? So we preach to ourselves. My morals. <laughs> hey, they were talking about uh, why your disciples don't wash their hands before they eat. Man, get up out of here with that, man. And hand me another piece of chicken and quit tripping. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to lose a lot of people on that one, boy. Hebrews is looking at you foul now. They ain't the day to do out when you said that. That's too heavy for him right now. Maybe a little piece of bacon on it. No, no. <laughs> but, uh, but, but we can't preach our own righteousness. You can't preach your religion, your position, how you feel about it. Folks like to get uh, over righteous, right? They was an alcoholic. They become a pastor. They get delivered from alcohol. So now everyone in their ministry is a sin to drink. What, you you more Yali than Yah himself? Manifesting the flesh? Because Yahushua is the one that turned the water and wine at the wedding feast. Well, that's well, then why the word says, be not drunk with wine, when it's excess, be filled with the, with, with the Ruah, with the Spirit. And how did Moses say, they call him Moses, get drunk if he didn't have alcohol in it? Back then. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, 
that was all natural rail. <laughs> <laughs> not for a minute. He was drunk in theory, right? Right. Because he sure got drunk. And the word said it. And, and actually, if you look it up, it means per minute drink. If you look up wine, <coughs> it means that. So they, they just, that's that religious stuff. Here we go again. We preach not ourselves. Too many people are preaching themselves, and pe- too, not too many people know the true gospel. They're preaching their, their private interpretation of the word, and you can't do that. You'd be surprised. You would literally be surprised if you studied enough and cared enough to know that almost everybody is preaching themselves. Real talk. That's why you got to learn to study to show yourself approved. You got to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth, and you got to care enough. That's why the word teaches that he that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You got to be hungry. You got to be thirsty. If you ain't hungry and thirsty for things of Yah, then you ain't going to get them. You, you'll be the type of person to have a form of Yah that's denying the power thereof. If our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost because the climate, the thinking, the stinking thinking in this world has blinded their minds. They can't see it. Having eyes to see but can't, can't perceive. Having ears to hear but not understand. Because if you mess around and understand, you'll have your sins forgiven and you'll be converted, you'll be changed. But when you got an arterial motive and you don't mean y'all for real, you'll never get it. You can sit in service for the rest of your life. You're still going to be the same person. You're not going to change. The only thing you can produce is having a form of it. You become a hypocrite, a play actor, tricky, slick willy. For if I got to be here, this isn't that lost. Who the yah of this world has brought the minds of them to believe not, at least the light of the glorious gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of Yah, to shine on them. We preach not ourselves, but Yahusha, and ourselves, your servants for Yahusha's sake. See, <clears throat> when you become a minister, I, I'm, I'm covering a lot of ground, but I'm just rolling with the scripture, right? But when you become a minister, that's servant. And you're a servant to the people. I live, I actually work with y'all with an obligation. <laughs> with obligation, bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> but I have an obligation. We write it. We we in Second Corinthians the fourth chapter, y'all. Second Corinthians four. If y'all got the app on your phone or the Second Corinthians four. Right. For we preach not ourselves. I cannot. Come on, y'all. He didn't have an ear to hear what the Ruach said to the Ecclesia. You got to develop a living ear, an ear that is submissive to truth with a mind to do it, right? I can't preach me. I can't help you. I can't preach my moral standard because I was an alcoholic. I tell you, you can't drink. I can't do that. I can tell you the truth. Be not drunk with it. Don't overdo it. And if y'all come to you and tell you don't do it, then you can't do it. But I can't judge you. He that measures himself by himself is not wise. I can't judge you by the liberty y'all give you. But you're not supposed to use your your, your liberties as a uh, as a as a, a cloak of maliciousness, right? Meaning, meaning, I don't care what you think. <clears throat> I know the word say I can drink. You think it's a sin. I don't care what you think. So I drink in front of you. Now I can't witness to you. I drink in front of you regardless of what you think because I don't care. That's not love. The word came down for this generation was wrote like us to help us. Came on our level. We need to be able to come on other people's level and care because he died for them like he died for me. Right? We can't use our righteousness as a cloak of maliciousness. But I can't, I, again, I can't preach myself. I can't preach how I look at it and how I feel. I have to, the word, the word is beckoning us to be one, to become one, right? The only way we're going to be one is if we do what Second Philippians say, right? Let this mind be in you that was in the Mashiach. Allow it to be, right? If everyone in this room allowed the mind of Mashiach, the Messiah to be in them, then we'd be on the same page. You ain't going to have your private interpretation, nor am I going to have mine. We're all going to defer back to the word. Period, and that's going to be the final decision. Then it wouldn't be 15 churches on one block. 
then it wouldn't be all these denominations. The denomination, by definition, means division, and there should be no division. We should be on the same page working together for one cause. If homosexuality is wrong, we all say it's wrong. If we should come together repeatedly, encourage one another, we all on that same page. They know, well, I think, um, I don't care what you think. Romans 3, 3, and 4 say, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the face of Yahweh without effect? Yah forbid. Let Yah be true, but every man a liar. You can't get into people's opinions, <clears throat> people's philosophy. Oh, I had a dream. I don't care nothing about your dream. Do it line up with the word? Your personal vision. You got a personal vision? Good for you. Do it line up with the word. Can nothing about the other religions' positions? None of that. What does the word say? Right? So, fifth verse, we preach not ourselves, but the Messiah, and we're servants of Yahushua for your sake. For Yah who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the Kabbah. They call it glory, y'all. The knowledge of the Kabbah of Yah in the face of Yahushua HaMashiach. <laughs> he calls the light to shine in darkness, right? The light is the word. If y'all read John 1, right, it says, you know, and, and the light came into the world, right? If, if you read John, it will just come plain to you. I don't feel like quoting it all, but at the end of the day, the light is the word, and the light shines in darkness, and he calls the light to come in the face of the Messiah. In other words, the word was made flesh. What Yah is telling us became a human being and walked the earth. His perfect will, his instructions for us. That is one beautiful little boy. His instructions for us became a human being, and the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. But but his instructions became a human being, right? In the face of the Messiah. If you want to have a relationship with Yah, his, his, his word took on a face. His word was found fashioned as a man and dwelt among us. That's right? right? That's right. The most important thing, a good, great theology, the most important thing was the word coming to us. Because you've got to remember it was the word in the beginning that Adam and Eve went against. Right? Then it came down 42 generations and was born. What was most important was his word, what he wanted to say to us. He became a human being so he could say it to us, so we can be able to receive it. Again, he came on our level. The creator of all cared enough about us to come on our level, became one of us to communicate to us, and then bail us out by living what he said perfectly, denying himself. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, again, he had a right not to sin. Look at this. Look at him. I'm sorry. I need to preach for this. Look at him. He's beautiful, smiling. Oh, my. <laughs> the smile of y'all look like so. <laughs> In the face. <laughs> but he, I was hard. He was smiling, looking at me like, whoa. I need to get saved her. Yeah, I need to get saved her. I just. Anyway. <laughs> But, but, but y'all came on our level, and if we ever learn this love, we'll come on the level for other people. Remember, uh, if our gospel we hear this here to them that are lost, we should care, right? Because he came down 42 generations, rolled himself in the body. He didn't take his, 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 his position, his rights. He was more interested in our rights. And if we get his love, we'll, be, we'll care about the rights of others as, as opposed to always looking out for me. I said it before, I said it again. It's one thing being right, but dead right. Everybody else dead around you, but you right. Who did that help? For y'all so love the world that the gates only got something who's ever believed in should not perish. It's not his will that any should perish, but that all come unto repentance. Do you see somebody overtaking the fault? You with your spiritual going to restoration, I'm trying to help them. I'm not saying you're going to be able to help everybody. So who said himself, I become all things to all men that I might gain some. You ain't going to win anybody. But do, do, aren't you going to try? Who are you going to write off? No, they scared. I don't care. They can go to hell. 
I think she like my man. <laughs> no, that's one thing I don't play. <clears throat> you carnal as heck, boy. <laughs> I see her man too. <laughs> no, but <yeah. laughs> but folks be having, but you know what I mean. But folks be having, folks be having their own personal pet peeves and they write people off like go to hell. You don't want to go to hell. Somebody hurt your feelings and now they doomed to hell. That ain't that ain't cool. You know how many people feelings you hurt. I, when people cross me, all I got to do is think about all the people I cross. Look, you break in somebody's house, they home, and they shoot you. I mean, you know. But one of you is the one that broke into the house. If you ever stole something from somebody and you got away with it, you can say, thank you, I, I, I'm not that person no more. And I didn't die doing it. You cross people. How many people have you crossed? But you got an attitude. Bet no, no, bet not nobody cross me. That's what's wrong with the world now. That carnal stinking thinking. You didn't cross folks, snuck around with folks, get all kind of stuff, but you want nobody sneaking around on you. You know, nobody can't nobody cross you though. Let you tell it is hell to pay. If somebody cross you, well, look at the people you cross. And we all assembling together, want to be saved, want to be forgiven, want to be loved, want to call, y'all. If our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost, and we should care. And then you got to know in and of yourself, he said, we don't preach ourselves. I ain't got nothing for you. I need it to antidote too. I need it to medicine. I need to be saved. I need to work out my soul salvation with fear and trembling. Making sure I'm acting right, talking right, walking right, living right. Got time to condemn folks based on my man, my woman, my money, what you get. I, I, I. No, you got me messed up. I tell you that. You better ask somebody. Okay. You one of them, uh, to ask somebody, huh? To ask y'all. Well, we preach not ourselves, right? Six verse. For y'all commanded that the light shine out of darkness. Hallelujah, thank you. And we were the darkness, to tell you the truth. <laughs> he was thinking about us when he when he moved across the face of the deep in Genesis, right? And he said, uh, let there be light. He's thinking about us. That was a shadow of him doing that to us. Isn't that deep? Yeah. He knew his creation was going to be dark, trying to, trying to make it through life without the creator. Man thinks we can make it without the, the architect, the designer. Are you serious? He created you, and you gonna make it without him? You that bad, huh? You got the world hanging there on nothing. You got a covenant with the stars and the moon. You don't want to cause the waters to stop at the shore. <laughs> uh, you bad. You bad woman. You got folks talking, running around and talking about I'm God, dude. If you don't get up out of here, you out of toilet paper. God. <laughs> <laughs> and toothpaste, as a matter of fact, back up. <laughs> For y'all had commanded the light to shine out of darkness and that shined in our hearts to give light of the knowledge. It's what we know, y'all. He's going to reveal himself to you and gave light to the knowledge of the Kabbalah of Yah in the face of Yahusha. Don't get it twisted. He became a man. And being found fashioned as a man, he was humble enough to go through whatever we put him through to rescue us. After that, folks dogged him out. He said, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now, we can't just look at them like they're weird because we didn't done some weird stuff to him. And what was most important to him was not the death of the flesh. He came to do that. It's the death of his word in your life. Is you continually to walk in disobedience irregardless of what he say. Looking for a nice church home that's going to going to have a bunch of good gospel music, good gospel, good choir. I'm looking for a good choir. Yeah, no. <laughs> I had me a little cigarette on the porch right before I go in, and then just a little gospel music. I hope the pastor don't preach too long, because I don't. Carnal. Just carnal. Church. The, the Hebrew camps, too. Them jokers stuck in the law. Run around here with long beards and, 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 and funny robes. Not even, 
cattle on the road, singing with a rope. <laughs> but ain't no salvation in it. <laughs> can't, can't get a hair. You get a haircut. They want to know what's wrong with you. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with me a little cleaner, potentially. But other than that, I can't think of nothing. <laughs> potentially. I'm, you, yeah, you might have washed, washed your beard. I don't know. Hope it ain't no grits and eggs in it. Hope you keep your beard clean. For y'all have commanded the light to shine out the darkness, have shine in our hearts to give light unto the knowledge of the Kabbalah of Yah in the face of Yahushua HaMashiach. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power of Yah and not uh, of us. So we have this treasure. You know what the treasure is? It's the word. We have a treasure in earthen vessels, the word living inside of each one of us in this room. It should be. We should be studying the short self to prove. We need to get to know the creator, our creator, to the point that we want to be remade. We want a makeover. We want a spiritual makeover. I don't want your man. I don't want your woman. I don't want your money. I don't even need your accolades. I don't need your compliment. I'm solid in him. And if you if you think I'm wicked, I get it. People's wicked. Keep watching because the word teaching in our life is like a, 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 a written epistle, known and read of all folks. Read my life. I ain't got nothing to hide. Read it. Mind your own business. No. Ain't none of that. You have every right to know. I'm going to sit up in here, brother. What happened to your tooth for real? It was a cookie. <laughs> a macadamia nutted cookie. I thought my tube was a macadamia nut. <laughs> that never happened to you? Oh, it hasn't. I don't know what to do. But we had this fresh and herbal vessels that the agency of the power of Yah and not of us. When we when we give credit where credit is due, it is not us, it's not you. If you change, you better give credit where credit is due. Yeah. Because all of us probably buck wild as I don't know what, literally right now, if it wasn't for him. You wouldn't recognize me. Take me ten minutes. Ten minutes you would who in the heck is that dude? If it weren't for y'all, boy, I'd be crazy as I don't know what. It's the truth too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there, done that. I was bananas. <laughs> anyway. Look what it says. A verse. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are blessed, but not despair. Look. We are troubled on every side. I don't know how much you know about, like, in in times or the times we're living in, but it's goofy and we're perplexed. Unless you're an ostrich with your head stuck in a hole, with your behind in the air. It's ugly down here. People are ugly. The circumstances are ugly. The government is ugly. It's, I mean, it's just ugly. We're in trouble, but the word says, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Like, real talk. If you're saved, called out of the darkness into the marvelous light, the best thing that can happen to you is to leave here. <laughs> don't get it twisted. Don't don't sit up at my funeral crying. You lost your dog on mine. You didn't pay me to come back. Real talk. I'm serving my turn. <laughs> That's it. I'm serving my I'm putting my time. Put your time in, baby. It's coming after a while. Y'all remember that? Put your time in, baby. It's coming after a while. Talk my baby, baby. It's coming after a while. Talk my baby, baby. It's coming after a while. God. <laughs> we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted. Not forsaken, cast down, not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of uh, uh, Yahushua, the Messiah, that the life also of the Messiah might be made manifest in our body. What went on in our Messiah's body should be happening in ours. Y'all get that? We should be about our Father's business. And this life ain't nothing but a vapor 
It's like a vapor of smoke. And if people were more than away, this was a quick one. I don't know how in the world I'm this doggone old. Just yesterday, it was like yesterday. See, I was running around here with long hair and I had me a little six-pack. Now I'm running around here with a little co- pony cake with a couple of holes in my afro. My, my, my hair just turned into a little puzzle, and I'm losing puzzle pieces. <laughs> Why are y'all laughing at me? Yeah. I guess my hair with my tooth. <laughs> Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Messiah, that the life also of the Messiah might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahushua's sake, that the life also of Yahushua might be made manifest in our mortal flesh, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Now what it's really, what, what that saying is, <clears throat> those that belong to Yah should be out of the way that somebody else might live. That's what they're saying. You got to cure. <laughs> Start to get hit. Woo! You got to start caring about others' souls more than you do yourself because you already say it. He got you. Quit being so quick to take up for your rights. Run around with your feelings in your hands. <coughs> Excuse me. You can tell a carnal person, and the more carnal they is, you're going to notice this. They're about themselves. They're half the conscious of what you do to them. They ain't too conscious of what they, what they do to you. It's more what they do, what you do to them. It's always about me. They did this and they did that. <laughs> and, and, and I can't let this go. And this carnal, I, I can't support that because I got it. Just about you. No, 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 no. Look what this say. So then, <clears throat> wow. Excuse me. So then death working in us, but life in you. In other words, those that are mature learn how to go without that somebody else might live. You can have the last seat. I'll move for you. I don't have enough for two sandwiches. We both hungry. I'll buy you one. You won't even know I'm hungry. I won't even let you know. You eat it. You tired? One chair. You sit down. That's working in me for life in you. You get to come and go as you please, I got to be faithful. You got a real, I'm tired. <laughs> like the heck I ain't. <laughs> Nodding off, teaching, sneezing. Can't say F words no more. <laughs> tooth gone. Death working in me. Hair gone, tooth gone, money gone. So... But death in you, right? It says, if, if you see someone overtaking the fall, Galatians 6, right? It wants to say, if you see a brother overtaking the fall, you were just spiritual. Who's spiritual? Who's willing to take down that somebody else might live? Who can get lied on and talked about but still love and be kind? Who can do that? Or is it all me, me, me? You hurt my feelings. Uh-uh, I don't know. What is all that? Carnality. If our gospel were here, then that's the first verse we read, right? Uh, the third verse, if our God be hid, it's hidden in the law. So you lost? Is it hid to you? Because it's revealed to you. You got to get out of yourself and know it's not about you. Why should it be about you when you already should be dead? You traded in your life for eternal life. You got eternal life. Out the deal. You ain't scared to die. Your, 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 your hesitation to die will probably be your loved ones, your family. People that would miss you. That you deem would need you. But I'm going to tell you this, even if you wasn't here, the gospel goes on, so do life. Y'all still love the world without you being here? Y'all still going to take care of his children? If you were here or not. Y'all are still in the saving business even without us. We got to learn to walk in selflessness. So being death working in us, but life in you, 
We have the same ruah, I said spirit, y'all. We have the same spirit of faith. According as it's written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, therefore, speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Messiah shall raise up us also by Yahushua. And shall present us with you. So we're going to be saved too. We might be despised and looked down upon, folks talking about us and all that, but we're going to meet you in heaven. We're going, we going without that you might be saved. I'll be you there. We all, we, the same word that ro- rose up the Messiah is going to raise you up. That's the same word is going to raise me up too. We all going, right? For all things are for your sake. We almost done, y'all. That's the, the abundant, uh, unmerited favor. They call it grace, right? For, 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 for all things are for your sake that the uh, abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the kabah of Yah, or the glory of Yah, right? For the which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Our outer man perish. If you don't believe me, I will put up a picture of myself about two weeks ago. Oh, I can go back further, but two weeks, there's a big difference in two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, what a difference a day make. Y'all heard that saying before? But though our, our man perish, all of us, all of us are not what we used to be. And as each day go by, we're going to continue to change, right? But our inward man, we're just passing through. The Most High is so magnificent. Real talk. If you look at a seed, and the words that except a seed uh, fall to the ground and die, it abideth alone, right? If you just look at a seed, it's one little seed. But when you it falls to the ground and it's buried, the earth kills it, the outer shell. And then the life that was inside of that seed come forth. And it turns into a beautiful tree. It feeds people. It, it, it shelters birds and the fowls of the air. It's incredible how a seed develops into pure life for somebody else, right? Or if you look at a caterpillar, look, ugly thing. That joker is ugly. Oh, it needs a perm or something. Ball headed is nasty, ugly. No wonder it killed itself, committed suicide. <laughs> it went to a cocoon <laughs> and died and came out a butterfly, one of the most beautiful flying insects on the planet. A butterfly. Who say bad stuff about a butterfly? Who don't like butterflies? But it was a caterpillar at first. We got to stop looking at things naturally and start having a spiritual mind to understand we're that caterpillar, we're that, we're that butterfly, potentially. We're that seed, except a seed fall to the ground and die, the bite of the law. We got to be willing to die out to that mess we was on, that lifestyle we used to live. If any man be in the Mashiach, he's a new creation, a new creature. All things that pass away, all things become new. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about we need to change. Change. And you are not an alien because you fight fighting evil. Who in here don't have evil desires? Raise your hand. I want to shake the heck out of your hand. You don't have those evil desires? You are wonderful. You don't look that good, huh? <laughs> But everybody in this room have things they fight off. They say, no, I can't do that. That ain't right. That's a bad idea. <laughs> not going to do that. Every last one of us. So you're not an alien because you fight all the evil. Thoughts that's not cool. The key is through him that's in us, us having a relation with the most high, him willing to become a human being and dying for our past sins, we had enough sense to admit we were wrong. 
believe that he died in our stead. He gave us too many infallible proofs that he's real. Man didn't create earth. Man didn't create life. Man don't, didn't create the sun or the moon. Come on. So when you start seeing it unfold, he revealed himself to you. You know we need to get saved and quit running around here scared of everything that's going on. Stressed out for what? He going to come get us. He come to get his children. He come to get the believer. For so y'all so love the world that it gave him begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Through this believing journey, I'm not like barely believing. I'm going to tell you that now, real talk. I'm not barely believing. Some people like holding on by a little tiny belief. They can just be one little thing happen. They don't believe no more. Jack at the club. Don't believe no more. Right? <laughs> you don't believe. I see you don't believe. <laughs> Take pictures like this. <laughs> why, why, why y'all do that? <laughs> What's that all about, man? You ain't like an unbeliever. That's a self, that's a selfie. Yeah, yeah. It looks like three people in the picture, though. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, they, they couldn't see none of that on the conference line. That's good. <laughs> So, so look, for, for all things, for your sake, abundant grace, that might see, where, where was that? 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outer man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Some of us feel half as sorry for ourselves, huh? Look what it say. For our light afflictions, which is but for a moment, our light of living. You ain't been through nothing. When you thought it was doomsday, it's over with, and it wasn't. You called it doomsday. Dog. You're like, I can't take it. You took it. You're still here. Bought you another block, sister, and everything. That's it. It's over. For our light of living, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more excellent and eternal weight of glory. Mm. In other words, what we go through is making us better. We're being tried in the fire. I can tell you, I don't like my tests, but I can admit it's making me better. Real talk. I'm talking about there's things that I stood on the table about that I ain't going to take, I ain't going to accept. That's it. That's just who I am. That's what it is. Ain't nothing with nowhere. Y'all has a way of saying, I'm not changing it. I'm here to change you. You can buck and cry all you want. You better grow the heck up. You better change. You better let love subdue the situation, the love in you that I gave to you. Carry it. No, the situation ain't changed. Can you love irregardless? Can you do what's right irregardless to how you feel? That's growth. The fire is you don't like it. The fire is you swear I ain't taking it. Yeah, you taking it and you're still making it. And you're becoming better because of it, even though you don't like it. They gonna pull the chair out for me. Sixteen years later they still ain't pulled that joke up. Did you grow any? Pull that joke out yourself. And then thank you, you got arms to be able to pull it. See you grew. You ain't going to talk to me like that And they talk to you worse Now what? You too good to get talked to like that? <clears throat> Holler what you ain't going to play What you ain't going to take Y'all will let that situation stay just like that Now what you going to do? Not love? Because you're not going to forgive now? When you're not going to do what's right now? When you blow to him, you will Then you grew Then you learn to quit putting your foot down Holler what you ain't going to take and what you ain't going to do, you learn to shut your mouth and arm yourself with the mind of the Mashiach, and you're going to go through whatever the heck you got to go through. That's right. Boy, if I didn't have a fuck too, but I wouldn't preach ever. <laughs> well, let me see how many messages I get in. <laughs> Front door gone. <laughs> but the point is... <laughs> 
was a cookie. He was a cookie. <laughs> Unless the cookie had some shoes on, bro. <laughs> but the key is, we so quick to holler when we ain't going to do it, what we ain't going to take. You're going to do and take what y'all say you're going to do and take. And what he's after is your flesh. That evil, wicked nature we got with our standards, our morals, our position, he's going to bust that down that we might be saved. Because our nature, the, the Yah of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. You don't believe Yah? Then you're a, you're a victim to that, to vanity. Folks is trapped in vanity. Things that don't mean nothing mean a lot to them. Gold and, and flashy stuff. What kind of car are you driving? Ugh, I was riding that. All that old dumb stuff, right? You get saved, you, be, you think Yah, you got feet. Toes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he'll change your whole entire perspective. You'll grow up. What we go through, in other words, y'all, is making you better, and it's called light afflictions, which is but for a moment working for us of a far more exceedingly eternal weight of combat. While we look not at things which are seen, when you spiritually, did y'all hear that? While we look not at things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen is eternal. And he gave us natural examples to prove that to us. Again, the seed and the butterfly. He told us about Lazarus. Do you believe it? You believe it. He showed us through the seed and and the caterpillar the metamorphosis process. That is real He's not playing with us He's not a man that he should lie Nor the son of man that he should repent He said have I not said it And will not perform it He's going to bring it to pass He's proving himself And if you're the type of person That's hogging and thirsting after righteousness He's going to prove himself to you I was talking to Delilah the other day And she said The moment I gave my life to Yah Everything just changed in my life And he's been blessing me left and right Yah has a way of meeting you where you are and showing himself to you. So when he get ugly, you'll know he's real. Even when I want him to come to me and he didn't, Mama, we don't come. You know. Daddy, go to bed. I already know what you want. Go to sleep. Daddy. I ain't saying nothing else to him. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> if I come in there, you don't want me to come. <laughs> He's yeah, you would want to go to sleep. <laughs> Y'all have a way of meeting us where we are to confirm that He loves us and He's real in our life, and He don't come every time you holler. <clears throat> I was watching Ray Charles in my closing. And, uh, you know, when he started going blind, she started, like, equipping him. You know, things going to be different. And as much as she loved him, and I know, I, I imagine how she felt, right, how we love our children. And uh, he fell one time, and he was, Mama, and she was right there. She said, I can't hear nothing. And he was crying and scared, and she just sit there and watch him. She said nothing. And he got up felt his way around, and got his thing in there. She had to do that, but she'd have messed him up. That's what y'all do for us. What you're going through is making you better, whether you know it or not. Whatever you do, don't look at it wrong and become bitter. Because if you look at it wrong, I've seen people go through trials, and they are a walking mess, a satanic mess, too. It's not even, they don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Folks be so filled with the spirit of Satan that it's just unbearable. Mm -hmm. Mad at everyone, everyone is wrong, it's just ridiculous. Because 
They got the poor little me syndrome because they're dealing with things from a carnal perspective. Poor little me. You've got eternal life, which none of us deserve. He died for our sins, and we were scattered. Humanity is just a wicked species. Pat people on the back all you want. You got the game twisted, because I don't know none of you, including myself. We all need to be saved. All of sin that comes short. We need to bow down to the Messiah, bow down to the Creator, admit our wrong, and let us go through the metamorphosis process and quit looking at everyone else. If you mess around and look onto Yahushua, the Messiah, who is the author and figure of your faith, if you cast your cares upon him, looking onto him, he's going to remake you. You're going to have this beautiful makeover. So all the stuff you're going through is not going to make you bitter. It's going to make you better. And that's the truth. Quit complaining. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Y'all believe that clap for him because he's worthy. Hallelujah. That that was the lesson uh, for the day. If you brought an offering, you can give it um, at this time. Um, I looked up about the process of the butterfly. Uh huh. It says if you open up the cocoon, like in the middle of the process, it will come out. Liquid? Liquid will come out. It will come out. Wow. And then it goes into liquid and then it transforms so myself into a butterfly and still remembers its life in the catacombs. Wow. That's a whole other thing. That you, if you open up and say it ain't even in there, it wasn't even the same thing no more. It literally went to a complete 100% metamorphosis process. You wouldn't even know what it was. It was like And it remembers its days as a caliphate. That's so deep. Now that's a phenomenon. Yeah. He can take off and fly. And then now he can fly. Um, don't get y'all praise for that. That's good. Talk to that. Um, well, we want to open the floor. We want to start with those that's on the line. Uh, did we pray? Yeah, I prayed out, didn't I? No? Uh, let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you, and thank you for this opportunity to come before you once again. We pray that your word went forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, speaking up an everlasting life. We trust and believe that this was done, and we thank you. In the match name of you, Mr. Hamashias, we only pray. Hallelujah and all man. Did I stop the recording? I didn't, did I? Yeah.